cookies. Hello, my name is Sarah. I am the regional nurse and director here at the adoption agency. I have two things with me today and we'll be going over a lot. This right here is your file and a group of team members at our agency has sat down for a long time. I know that you've been waiting a very long time to see if you are approved for adopting a child here at our facility and this file right here contains your answer. Um, we do have some information to go over. I know. I know. Go ahead and calm down. It's okay. If you are denied, I wouldn't take it personally, but as of late, we've had too many families and couples and single, you know, parents coming in here want to be parents coming in here and putting us through months and months of just thought and, you know, in, like things we need to do for them to ghost us at the end. And we can't have that anymore. There are too many children in our agency that need loving families to go to. There are too many children in our agencies that go to sleep alone every single night. They need our care, and although we are here to take care of them, they want their own families. They want to go home and be able to call somebody mommy or daddy or, you know, they just want to be loved. That's it. Love. And lately, we've just been having too many, too many people ghosting us. So I'm just letting you know now, if you are denied, you can reapply. There are steps you can take. Let's not worry about that right now. You've made it this far, so I wish you the best of luck, but before I start, I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a cup of coffee fee. Just get the... Could I interest you in a cup? Tea. I'll pour you a cup anyway. Um, I personally take sugar. Can I interest you in some? Sugar, do you take cream? It's just been a very rough day. I'll set this right over here for you. It's so sad when a child thinks they're going home to a new family when come to find out they're spending another night here. And don't get me wrong, this facility is beautiful. It really is. It's safe for the children. They love it here, but again, they just want somebody to call them mommy or daddy or so. All right, I just need you to verify your name for me. I know you've done this 8,000 times. And I'm just going to be writing on the paperwork, correct or incorrect, and we will go through and fix anything that is incorrect at this time. Go ahead. Date of birth. Can I get um, 
your confirmation of your relationship status. I mean, you are by yourself today, but are you married, single? It's all written down, I know. How many people in the household? How many adults and how many children? I know you. Okay. All right, hold on one second. And I just need a phone number and verification of address for me. Area code, yes. Okay. And address verification, please. We have your photos um, right here as well. And okay. excellent. relax. We're going to get to your answer soon. So, you have had a home check. You have signed, it looks like. Multiple documents. Background check. Seems to have come back. Positive. You have nothing on your record. No felonies, at least. And we try not to discriminate with felonies. We really do, but... As you might have been able to tell by now, this is a very long process. And last but not least... You have no preference. That's really good. Very humbling. Some parents want to be parents come in here and parents who already have children and they expect, you know, a child who's a certain height or a certain weight. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Some parents can't handle children who have disabilities and need a little bit of extra special care, but Every once in a while, you get the parents who come in and they're like, I need a child with red hair and eyes that are this color, or things that really don't matter. I mean, it's nice to admire and appreciate those things, but what really matters is a child who's going to love you and just want somebody to love them back. But... I have your answer right here. Listen, I know it's been a long time. I know you've been through so much. I know you filed the paperwork. I know that you've been wanting this for so long. And that's another thing we do here at our agency. We want to make sure after a long period of time the want-to-be parent or parent wants to be a parent to another child. So I want to thank you before I give you your answer for everything you've been through. Thank you for just wanting to love someone for who they are. And thank you for not having a preference. And with that being said, I want to inform you today that I regret to inform you that they printed your answer on lined paper instead of gloss. Congratulations. You are going home tonight with a 
beautiful, beautiful, healthy baby girl. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> we have her paperwork right here. But I'm going to put this aside for now. All I need is your signature, your John Hancock, and you're free to take her home. She's in the next room. I'll get her very, very soon and introduce you. <clears throat> but first, for every new parent, we have a surprise for each and every one of them because let me go ahead and actually check. It says right here that your house is all baby proof, child proof, everything. Every one of your um, reports, all of your references, your background checked, everything checked back, positive. Um, and it says here that you do have everything ready, but were you expecting to take a child home today? That's completely okay, because again, here at the agency, we like to surprise our brand new to be parents with a surprise diaper bag, depending on the age, of course. And since you are a new parent to a beautiful baby girl, as soon as I get your signature, we have something very special. So let me go ahead. This right here is her bunny that her mother left for her when she gave her up for adoption. The story behind this beautiful baby girl is her mother, unfortunately, was addicted and she was too far in. Um, she didn't really plan before, about a week before, to be giving her baby up for adoption, but unfortunately she did catch um, hepatitis C and became very, very ill. Um, she had to be induced and they said that ultimately she wasn't going to make it. So... What happened was, knowing that, she didn't have the father in her life. All of her family, it was a random pregnancy, and she chose us to give her beautiful baby girl over to. The child was born healthy, it did not go through withdrawals, and she's just a beautiful, happy baby girl, but um, she said at the end of her pregnancy, she thought she could change things and went down to the gift shop, was walking around the hospital and saw this little guy, girl, whatever preference, on display and wanted us to know when she signed over her baby that They wanted us, she wanted us to tell her story, so. And for her daughter, now your daughter, to keep this as a reminder and a keepsake, so. <clears throat> it's a little hard for me to tell that story, but I'm just very thankful that we have such an amazing mother who's going to take over this beautiful life. So thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask to hug you. I just, it gets me so emotional. But you make sure to keep her okay. Keep her safe. 
so soft. I'll set her beside you. But let me go ahead and show you what we have for you today. First and foremost, we did notice in your home check that you did not have one of these, which can be very convenient when needing to run to the kitchen or something like that. And all of the nurses here, including myself, pitched in and got you this. We're not really about gender preference in regards to colors or anything like that, so... And I know that you aren't either. So we got you a bobby. It's the bobby lounger. This isn't the breastfeeding pillow, but that's okay. It can still be used for breastfeeding. You just need to lean over a little bit longer, but that's your preference. Um, she was breastfed and still is breastfeeding. Uh, we did not discuss that. I don't know if you, in your previous appointment, but um, she was breastfed, but not by her mother. Her mother passed away 36 hours after the birth of her, unfortunately, and thankfully, uh, nothing did pass to the child, but um, the breast milk we will provide you with, and also we are transitioning her, but it's your choice what you want to do, but we'll get into that in a minute, but I wanted to just show you this, so if you ever need to set her down, and instead of putting her in the crib or something like that, you can just go ahead and set her on the lounger and a little bit hard for her to roll off but she is a big girl she's seven pounds and two ounces she's 18 inches long oh, she's so beautiful i can't wait to show her to you it's gonna be hard for me to hand her off to you but every child that comes through here i want to take home even the teenagers it's a little bit rare though that we get um, newborns here because usually they have a private adoption or something like that so here is your her surprise diaper bag we know you already have one but again our agency loves to do this for new parents and we go through and specially handpick what we think you could use for the child that you are assigned. So as you can see, this little Ella friends with heart. And we have some very special items inside, but first, let me gift you with a brand new pack. I don't know how you didn't notice that you were getting all of this stuff or you were approved. You've pretty much been shaking this whole time. It's okay. It's okay. I have pen ink all over my hands because I was shaking too. I was so excited to give this give this opportunity away and I'm just so thankful to be with you right now but yeah it's all sitting right here <laughs> we've got a brand new pack of huggy snug little snugglers 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 little snugglers In the size newborn. Go ahead and set this over here. So immediately upon opening, 
we have some outfits. Some newborn socks that fit her, brand new. But one pair is missing, and you will see why in it very soon. I know you're anxious. Just relax. Relax. Deep breath. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. It's okay. Little stripes. Polka dots. Polka dots. Polka dots. <laughs> Go ahead and up these items over here. Oh. <laughs> A pair of her mittens that she has worn here for a while now. She is only about um, one month old. I have her birthday written on her before you sign. Oh, some onesies. These are organic by Just Born. This one, little hearts, bunnies, polka dots. Let's see. Some mittens, and then the one that she's worn the most. little sleeper outfit. This is by Gerber and it's organic. We always send our children home with brand new clothes. Some other hand basket picked items. <laughs> A little rattle for her. She seems to really love that bunny that belonged to her birth mother. So, we got her something similar that you could give to her. She was attached to her mother. But, her mother chose what was best. It was almost inevitable. So I hope you know how special this child is for you. So, after transitioning from the bottles, breast milk, anything, um, depending on whether you want breast milk for her or etc, etc, anything, uh, we always supply with a brand new bottle and we usually stick to Dr. Brown's, just for the natural fact that they've been around forever and they usually work for most. Um, it is a little bit more complicated with cleaning and things like that, but nothing a brush or a sponge will do. Looks 
like this if you have not seen these before. You just pop these off to clean, throw these in the washer. All this does is help easier milk flow. Comes with the top. Okay. So. Next. We have just a nice packet of Huggies natural care wipes for you. We like to stick with the anything is natural so we can get it. Um, she doesn't have any allergies or anything as, uh, that we know of yet. So, best sticking to natural. Bringing us into our next item for you. This Burt's Bees. It is a getting started kit and it comes with daily cream to powder, which is a diaper cream, shampoo and wash, nourishing lotion, and baby oil. We have just a little grooming kit for her. We use these exact, exact, we use these exact, exact same items on her now. You can just peel them off. Nail clippers for when her nails get long. Little bulb for when her nose gets runny, and it does, it's running now. She doesn't have a cold. Um, she's actually being checked out by nurses right now, just before we hand her over. So, and then a soft bristle brush. She has the brightest blonde hair you've ever seen. So, safety first. To take her home, just to make sure, in case you didn't have one, a little baby on board sign. Some bibs to protect the cute little outfit haul we just went through a few moments ago. She is very messy, so whether it be breast milk or introducing formula. Little unicorn. Blue and rainbow. <laughs> Perfect. 
We've got swaddles. She will be swaddled up in her blanket that um, the nurses over at the hospital made for her mother, for her, before she handed her off. It was a very emotional moment. But are you familiar with how to swaddle a baby? I'll show you before you leave, no problem, just to make sure. Almost finished here. A little colorful toy for her mother skills and learning. We have got a packet of Tommy Dippy. Tommy Dippy. Tommy Dippy. Dippy Dippy Dippy. Binkies for her nighttime. That's my favorite part of the day. <laughs> but they are silicone. BPA free and orthodontic. Cute little clouds. So sleepy. So sleepy. And then last but not least, before you meet her, lanyard there. We are going to send you home with this. Um, let me go ahead and open it for you. These are what we do want to transition her with. They are the Similac supplementation for breast milk. They come with the binky tops. Um, they are open, obviously, but they are for supplementation for breastfeeding moms who choose to introduce formula. And again, she is being introduced right now, but you can stop that if you do choose. But in case you don't, let me show you how to use these. They're little bottles. You can get them at Walmart or any grocery store. All you do, grab one of these little guys out of the box. Peel this back. Shake it up. It's a little foil top here that we can open in a moment. And then just you can throw this out. <sighs> that smell. Such a nostalgic smell. And then go ahead and make sure it's on. Finger on the tip, make sure it's clean. We're gonna throw this out, but. And then make sure it's dripping. Okay. 
take my last sip of coffee here. You're ready to be a parent. All I need from you is your John Hancock. And I'll go get her. Here is the pen. Just go ahead and sign right here in the corner, okay? <laughs> Thank you. You are the proud owner of a beautiful, beautiful baby girl. Here is her paperwork. I'm going to go make a copy. Get this set in for you and next time you see my face in about 25 seconds, <laughs> you're going to be a brand new parent. Excuse me. so hard, so hard getting rid of her, but I would like to introduce you to your brand new beautiful baby daughter. We call her Lenny, but you can call her whatever you please. Get her. Let's come here. She can hold her head up pretty well. your beautiful daughter, Lenny. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> so... She's got little shoes on right now. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. She's very quiet. Just woke up from a nap, doesn't really know what's going on. So, congratulations. Great her pinky out for her. I have to take it, I know. Shh, 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 shh. I know. So, again, congratulations. Thank you for being so brave and doing something so, so humbling and just so sweet of you. So, so sweet of you to give something and somebody a home and love that they deserve and need. It was so nice being with you, Lenny. I'm gonna hand you off to your new, your new parent. 
Congratulations.